What's up guys? Today I've got my hands on a brand new mini PC by B-Link. So this is the B-Link SER4. So impressive specification, impressive build quality. So this is a very smart looking, compact and relatively powerful mini PC running full Windows 11, powered by the AMD Ryzen 7, powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 with AMD integrated graphics. Um, you've got dual 4K outputs and lots, lots more. But first of all, let's have a quick look what you get inside the box. So we've got a user manual, a long and short HDMI cable. So we've got a bag of screws and a metal bracket which will let you mount this mini PC on the back of your monitor. You are also getting a power supply and you can see the voltage right there. And last but certainly not least, the mini PC itself. So first of all, build quality is super premium. We're talking about complete metal body, a very nice chrome trim going all the way around. You, you even got a red mesh grill on each side, um, which acts as ventilation, but also looks smart. And you've got more vents on the back. Your logo's on the front, B-Link AMD. You've got your AMD Ryzen and AMD graphics stickers. On the front, you've got two USB 3 ports, a Type-C port, headphone jack, and your power socket. If we keep going, nothing on this side. And on the back, we've got a gigabit LAN, one USB 3, a USB 2. We've got dual 4K HDMI outputs, power socket, and some ventilation. If we keep going, nothing on this side, and that brings us back to the front. And this is what the bottom of the mini PC looks like. So in total, you are getting three USB 3 ports. We've got two on the front, one on the back, and a standard USB 2 as well. And it's nice to see a Type-C port on the front for that fast data transfer speeds. All right, let's quickly run through the specs. This mini PC is powered by the AMD Ryzen 7 4800U, which is an octa-core clocked at 4.2 gigahertz. Now you have integrated AMD Radeon graphics, 32 gigs of DDR4 RAM, upgradable to 64 gigs, and you have a 512 gigabyte M.2 PCIe SSD pre-installed, and that is also upgradable to two terabytes. You can also further upgrade by adding a two and a half inch SATA drive, um, maximum supported two terabytes. You've also got some great extras like Wi-Fi 6E, Bluetooth, Gigabit LAN. You've got multiple USB 3 ports, Windows 11 64 bit license pre-installed and ready to use. This actually supports triple 4K display output. So you've got two HDMI and the Type-C port also supports display out. Now this mini PC does have a built-in cooling fan and supports 4K at 60 FPS. Okay, so let's have a quick look at the upgrade options. Four screws to open, let's get them open quickly. And, all right, so we've got the four screws off. Take off the lid. And as you remove the lid, you will see a hard drive cable, so be careful with that. So a two and a half inch SATA hard drive can slot straight into there, um, maximum two terabytes. Now we have a 512 gig SSD installed in this slot, and you can remove that and upgrade that to two terabytes, but then you would have to reinstall Windows as well. And we've got two sticks of crucial 16 gigabyte DDR4 RAM pre-installed, and you can actually have 32 gigs in each slot. So maximum 64 gigabyte RAM, future-proof, upgradable. So those are your easy upgrade options. Closer look at the internals. Nice and easy, just the way I like it. So without any further ado, I'm gonna get this all hooked up to my TV and capture card, and we're gonna find out exactly how good this mini PC actually is. I'll be right back. So first of all, I ran a boot up speed test, and this mini PC took only eight seconds to fully boot up from a cold start. And here is the desktop. This is a full version of Windows 11 Professional, and it comes with all the usual Windows apps you would expect to find, including the Windows App Store, where you can download all your favorite games and apps, giving you a full PC experience in a small compact form factor. And this mini PC packs quite a decent punch in terms of performance, and I will be pushing this to its limit a little bit later in the video. Now let's go ahead and check out the system properties. And as you can see, it's Windows 11 Professional with the AMD Ryzen 7 4800U with Radeon graphics, clock speed 1.8 gigahertz. You can, see the you can see the usable RAM from 32 gigs. You've got a 64-bit OS and it's already activated and ready to use. 
Now, moving on to the system storage info, we have 512 gigs of internal storage from which 474 gigs are actually usable. And I've already installed a whole bunch of apps and games, and this is what we are left with. Also, I've just attached my 64 gig flash drive containing all my 4K video samples. So that means it's time to test some 4K video samples from a USB drive, and we're gonna see how it performs. So first up, 160 megabits per second, 4K Jellyfish demo. And as you can see, it's playing nice and smooth. Next up, I tested the 180 megabits per second file. And you can see that one is also playing smooth. And you can see that is also, and you can see this clip is also playing nice and smooth. And then I tested the 400 megabits per second file. And as you can see, that is also handling pretty well. Now here are a few 4K60 with HDR samples from USB. Okay, so now we are moving on to some 4K streaming on YouTube. And next up, I loaded up Netflix from the web browser and I was able to stream a maximum of 1080p. All right, so let's jump into some gaming, starting off with GTA 5, which I installed through Steam. So as you can see, I've bumped up the graphics to 1080p, 60 hertz, and the graphics are set to very high. And here is some gameplay footage. So now we are testing out some PS2 emulation playing Smackdown vs Raw 2011. I have upscaled the resolution to 8x and you can see the game looks impressive and plays extremely well. There's nobody, and I mean nobody, better in the WWE than that man right there, Triple H. Yeah. Oh, no hard shot. So now I'm really putting this mini PC through its paces with PS3 emulation using RPCS3. So we're trying to play Fight Night Champion. Yes, the sound is a little bit jittery. It's not proper smooth, but it still plays. So it shows you how powerful this mini PC is. We are emulating a PS3 game, Fight Night Champion, which is quite graphically insane. We've got the graphics set to 720p, and I did have to drop the resolution scale to 75% for smoother gameplay, and still the frame rate is under 20 FPS. So although PS3 emulation is working on this system, the sound is choppy and the frame rates are not great was unable to land it. He got all into that one. That was a solid oh, uppercut. Keep moving. Keep moving. Power puncher versus the high stamina fighter. How does the high Antonio Chavez? Oh, and there you go. So next up, PSP emulation playing SmackDown vs. Raw 2010, upscaled to 10x, and it plays like a dream. So now we are attempting to play Mario Kart 8 on the Switch using Ryu Jinx and as you can see the emulation is nearly slow-mo, it actually struggles to emulate at full speed. So next up, Project 64 playing WCW vs NWO and I absolutely used to love this game. It's been upscaled to 4K, the game looks and plays great, I still love it. So now I'm going to very quickly test out the multitasking capabilities of this mini PC. So I'll open up a whole bunch of applications and games all at the same time and we're going to see how the system copes. So as you can see, we've got lots of stuff open. You can hear everything playing in the background at the same time. 
the system is handling it very well. I don't feel any lag or slowdown. And I have at least two games open, lots of applications open, as you can see. Um, so we do have quite a powerful little mini PC with very good multitasking capabilities. All right, so here are the results for the Wi-Fi speed tests. We achieved download speeds of 54 and upload speeds of 17 megabits per second. And this is typically the top speeds we achieve in our office. And here is a quick look at the Antutu benchmark test. We achieved 532K. And in Geekbench, we achieved a single core score of 1178 and multi-core score of 6400. And the CPU benchmark score by Passmark is 17,090. So let's see how this compares to the other mini PCs of this year. So here is my top performing mini PC ranking chart for 2022, allowing you to compare the specs, prices and features of all the latest mini PCs. Now, as you can see, they've been ranked by their CPU Passmark score. So the higher the Passmark score, the more powerful performance you can expect. So the B-Link Sur 4 has taken position one on this chart with a Passmark score of 17K, making it the new top dog mini PC that you can currently buy. Now you can view all my latest charts online at chickstech.com and read them at your leisure. So there you have it guys, that was the B-Link Sur 4. So this has to be without a doubt, one of the most powerful mini PCs we have seen on the channel so far. The Ryzen 7 performance was absolutely amazing. You can use this mini PC as your main PC. It can handle more or less anything you throw at it. From streaming 4K to editing 4K video and even gaming and emulation was an overall pleasant experience. I love the design and build quality. I love the connectivity options. It's very useful to have those ports on the front. I'm also very pleased with the easy to upgrade options that you have. So you can upgrade your storage, your RAM, and you can even add a spare SATA drive. I really, really like the form factor. It means it's designed to save your desk space. It's easy to travel with and move around. Wi-Fi and gigabit options are great. I had no issues with Wi-Fi. It was a solid connection throughout my tests. Well, I hope you found this video useful. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all in the next one. Peace.